What up, babes? It's your girl about to come back to Frontal Takes. Well, it's that time, you guys. It's a movie a review time, and this is for the movie titled A Bruise, starring and directed by Halle Berry. Now, I was really excited to hear she was going to be behind the screen as opposed to always in the front, but the fact that she's doing double duty made it even more intriguing. I didn't know what exactly she'd be working on in regards to this film, so just to know that uh, she was at the helm on both angles, it, it was just a no brainer for me to want to watch when it finally came out and getting a bit of an understanding of what the actual storyline is about when I finally saw the trailer. Now with this one, I'm just going to get into it and talk about it. So it's been off for a little bit. Um, I had already stated on a previous review that my laptop would die and I didn't get a chance to review this when it first initially uh, came out on that Friday. So I've been wanting to put this up. So I feel like I can actually talk about it. So I'm not even going to notice a spoiler review. Hopefully people have seen this so I can kind of just really just say my thoughts. Now, needless to say, uh, being that I've watched Halle Berry really since the first one I saw her, which was Strictly Business back in the day, try not to age myself, but needless to say, I've been enjoying her work over the years, over the decades, how she's honed her crap and just finally to know that she's finally going to be behind the, the actual camera was just such an exciting uh, thing for us to finally get to see. Now with this movie, I so enjoyed this film. This cast on this is just, I loved it. I just everything about it. And okay, so you know what? With that said, let's go ahead and just jump into it. Now, her overall storyline basically centers around her being considered, you know, down her luck. She's used to be an MMA fighter, more so like a disgraced MMA fighter, if you will. And she's kind of just, you know, all about trying to lay low. She has a job. She's like kind of like a janitor, you know, cleaning homes, bathrooms, things of that nature. Not really wanting to be kind of out there in, in the kind of somewhat of the line like she was when she was a fighter. Now things um, with her and another character played by uh, Aiden Canto plays uh, the name Desi. Kind of like it was like her manager and all that. They kind of you know besides that you know, have a little thing going on, whatever. And you can see a little bit of strainness and whatever in regards to the communication, you know, the way he approaches her, the way he talks to her, just not healthy at all. Um, so when that happens and you see them, you know, having little moments and then of course, you know, anger leads into, you know, having an intimate moment, whatever. So it kind of just lackluster, if you will. But things finally do take a shift when a woman by the name of uh, Angel, played by Adrian Lennox, who drops off, what's to be her son, uh, named Manny, played by, I want to say, let me get his name correctly, Danny Boyd Jr., shows up. She pretty much, you know, gave him up as an infant. And now that um, <laughs> Angel's like, you're going to take care of him. He is your responsibility. I'm kind of done, whatever. She's kind of at a loss. So pretty much puts her in a position where, okay, how am I going to deal with this? You know, I don't know the first thing about how to take care of any kid. Desi wants no part of it. So you kind of see that kind of, you know, open up the floodgates. Then also with Desi being slick and taking her to some underground type of fight with him now, she gets into it with a, a particular, you know, female fighter and all that. And she shows her home, her skills, and somebody happens to be in the audience and notices it and can see the potential. And that is a gentleman, his name is Immaculate in the film. And it's actually the actual actor, uh, Shamir uh, Anderson, if I'm not mistaken. Make sure I get his name right. Yes. So that's really interesting because he, of course, like a little promoter, wants her to come over, you know, to him. He knows who she is and vice versa. So somebody could help, you know, kind of get her wits about her, get her training back on, get her in, in good form, whatever, to do a fight. And it's not going to be some small fight. It's going to be like a, considered a really big fight. And she feels like, you know, I might, I could, I could do this. I could be down for this, but it's like, okay, now you're trying to figure out how you're going to balance dealing with slowly getting back in the ring with your training and also dealing with trying to get to know your son. And there's where the, the overall dynamics of how being able to, to deal with both. And I like how over the course of the film, you see her, you know, definitely putting in the work, whichever, you know, you get introduced to uh, the character, I want to say, Bud Hakan, played by Sheila Adam. Uh, you get to see, and I can't remember, he calls by the name of Pops, but his name is Stephen McKinley Henderson. He's such a great actor. Uh, definitely there, you know, to kind of, you know, be a little, you know, extra like mentor to her and all that while she's doing that, whatever, and all that, because um, the the main person teaching her, the coach, whatever, and all that kind of, you know, in the boxing is just kind of not seen. She feel like she's just, you know, washed out, whatever. We have all these younger ones, whatever, and all that. But he's like, you didn't see what I saw. And there it is right there, the potential he could see in her. And then she probably knows she has, but she's just, is going through a lot. And throughout the film, you can clearly see, 
yeah, there's things she wants to kind of deal with, you know, within a ring, you know, probably to, you know, probably in some ways prove herself. But then there's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked on outside of the ring. Definitely with her son. There's some, you know, issues with Desi. You know, he's not a, you know, good manager and all that, you know, kind of, you know, not putting forth what's probably in her best interest where she could probably be in a better situation. Things probably wouldn't have been bad. We don't really get to see uh, what happens after the opening scene where she's in a fight with an all and it turns out whatever, it's like a knockout, she gets knocked out, whatever. And things kind of change from that instance where things probably went from her being very notoriety as, you know, you know, what is it, uh, Jackie Justice. So from there also with her son, him not really wanting to, you know, really get to know her, but small little things and says that she's able to at least get him to engage her and listen to her being that she is his mother. She does find out, as you see, when she asks him, you know, your father, did he tell you I was dead? And he, he eventually shook his head. And one thing I say about uh, <laughs> Danny Boy Jr., he did an amazing job. I will say with him, a lot of his scenes, clearly, honestly, he's not speaking except towards the end of the film, but he can convey a lot of emotion in just his body language, the way he addresses, you know, dealing with Jackie, you know, in that, you know, in that instance. But besides that, I just, I was just taken by him. I get, I can get the racial, all the emotions he was giving me, you know, just, just in his eyes, his facial expressions. It was just, it, he did an amazing job with that. And, and not everybody can do that you know, so seemingly. So I really enjoyed those scenes with that. I did enjoy also another scene that was very interesting where, like I said, outside of the ring, Jackie had to deal with some of these issues. There were some other resounding issues where, you know, her and Angel, where things come up in conversation where she's angry with her, with her not doing her part. But then, you know, Jackie lets her be known, well, you didn't realize what was, I was going through, what was happening, you know, people coming in and out, you know, these men, whatever and all that, her acting like she was oblivious. And she's like, you had to know. You've had to know. In some ways, I think in the back of her, she probably did want to ignore it. And she didn't mean for those things, whatever, you know, transpired during the time when she was very young. You know, you know, it leaves an impression. Things happen, whatever, and all that. You can't, you know, escape, you know, those moments where they're forever seared in your mind. So that was really interesting and definitely a little in-depth. And I do like how you eventually do get to see extra scenes with, uh, I was going to say Sheila, her real name, because she had a nickname, but I can't remember it. Her and Jackie, where they're talking, her getting a little bit, you know, more, you know, in regards to understanding each other, you know, where, you know, Jackie, you know, lies and what she's trying to do and what she was trying to do and what she could see the potential in her. And then when she had a situation where she had to be somewhere and had to deal with her son, she welcomed her into him, into her home and her, you know, and things kind of escalated with that, you know, so you can see, you know, certain things could possibly happen between the two, you know, besides just all about, you know, the match, the, the upcoming, you know, fight. But yes, I just like how eventually when she does meet up with the fighter after a couple of things happen, you know, she kind of, you know, has some words with, you know, Sheila where she kind of, you know, I'm assuming feelings are involved, whatever. And she says certain things to her, whatever kind of leaves her kind of speeches where she ends up leaving. And then you see how she comes, I think another day or so passes where she's getting ready for a fight. She's like, you know, where is she at? But, you know. Pops is right there at help her, you know, Shamira's like there, you know, definitely front, you know, center during a fight, whatever. And you get introduced to, let me get her name right. Her name is uh, the first thing she does fight, Valentina uh, Shevchenko. I'm saying the last name correctly. My apologies if I'm not. I will say this. I know that she was training and I'm talking about Hallie because I do follow her on social media. You can clearly see some of the scenes or oh, the pictures, so to speak, excuse me, where she is, you know, looking kind of, you know, breed up bruised up, whichever, you know, when her hair was embraced. Cause I was like, what is she working on? Didn't really know what it was for a long time. So we we're kind of oblivious. She definitely kept it under the wraps before we finally knew earlier in this year. But last year I had no idea. So when I'm seeing these pictures of her hair, I'm like, okay, is she fighting or somebody, you know, fighting her? She, you know, is it a revenge film? We had no idea. So when we get to the last, you know, what final act of the film with the fight, that choreography for them putting that fight together was done very, very well. Hallie really gave it. And I think she said in an interview recently, I watched where when they're doing certain scenes, whatever, and I think that was part of the scenes, even at the beginning, opening scene, you know, she she broke some ribs. She'd had that happen before. I think she said on John Wick 4 and then in this one, and she was afraid to say anything whatever because she knew it was shut down the field with her and all. And she says, I know what that felt like. I know exactly when it was my, you know, ribs, whatever, but we kept this, you know, kept this going, whatever, and all that. I just, she's like, I worked, I powered through. <laughs> so 
there was much respect there, but her and Valentino, they really brought it in that scene. And it just, it was really, really good. And I like how Pops, you know, McKinley, you know, was an added extra because, you know, at first she wasn't sure she could fight. You see a scene of her where they shut the doors to the, the cage, or whatever, and she's kind of loose distraction. They like, look straight, look straight ahead, straight ahead, whatever. And that's when the first punch, and then it was on. And then you see, of course, the little son watching, whatever, and all, and even um, Angel watching. And it was just really, really good. You can see the sun was full. And I love how eventually when she goes to get him and he's all excited, you know, to, to really to go with her. And she says to him, you know, when I was in there, I was thinking about you. And I swear the floodgates just open with that, you know, because, you know, the tears are up and then an angel realizes both of them need each other. Mom, mom and son, they, they need this. This is this time where they need to get to truly know each other, you know, He's opening up a little bit slowly, you know, one part where early in the film, he didn't want to hold her hand and then eventually towards the end, he wanted to hold her hand. And then eventually he spoke, whatever, and then smiled. I was done at the end. That ending literally <laughs> just had me literally uh, slightly teary eyed, you know, slightly sobbing, you know, so... And, and I just truly did enjoy this film. I think for her first, you know, directing, you know, debut, Hallie did an amazing job. I really look forward to seeing what else she has in store for us behind the camera because this being a first one, I thought it was it was done very well. I love this cast. You, you know, definitely, you know, all the people, you know, played a part in moving the story along. And I just have no much more I can really say about this. Now, out of the rating out of a 10, I'll give it about an eight. Like I said, um, really nothing really wrong with it at all, honestly, from my standpoint. Um, like I said, you know, her directing, her acting, you know, flushing her out a little bit, doesn't go into too much detail, but you get enough that definitely is some underlining things that need to be addressed, you know, personally with her, her coming to terms with, I have a child, I need to step up to the plate. You know, she thought she was doing something good previously by giving away, but now it's time for you to step up as, you know, this parent, you know, dealing with, you know, a lousy manager who's really not looking at your best interest, whatever, you know, he is just a mess, you know, and then seeing the potential with the people who are really are here to help you, you know, move forward, you know, deal with these things and all that and see that you can, you know, go over and like, like one part I will say I almost missed was I love how they, they gave the acknowledgement to her. Granted, she didn't win it, but they, the respect, the acknowledgement at the end, you know, and her, you know, being able to, you know, have that moment and then both fires holding hands, whatever, and all that. I really did like that. I didn't want to forget that part. It almost slipped me, but yes, again, really good film. So with that said, you guys comment below. I would love to know what you all feel about this film. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next movie review. You guys take care.